I think so many people out there have had dreams of falling and falling and falling and falling and falling. That doesn't scare them. Hitting the ground at 120 miles an hour and not being able to walk away from it. That's what scares them. three kids I uh, my finances run pretty tight and I ran into a situation where I was looking at my rig in the closet and I thought gee I'd sure like to make a skydive today but I don't have the finances to do that so I got involved with a group of guys that that make base jumps I think they're the only kids in the school that draw pictures of people jumping off of buildings. I often wonder what their teachers think of that. As far as base jumping, I don't know if I just totally block it out and it's all in my stomach, but I've never had bad dreams of it, no dreams at all really. I know that, you know, if they have a 180 and, and can't correct it quickly enough, they can fly into the object. Sometimes that can be fatal and sometimes they can live through it. Kids are like that, though. They feel like you're impervious, that you're never going to die. You're, you're never going to have a problem. They, they are just confident. That's what's so beautiful about kids. They're just confident that you're always going to be around. And that's pretty much the way I look at it. When I go make a base jump, I, I plan it. I'm going to go out. I'm going to climb. I'm going to jump. I'm going to do a delay. I'm going to open my canopy. I'm going to land. I'm going to get in the van. And I'm going to come home. As a kid, I was so knotted up, I'd go drink a case of beer and I'd get fucking rowdy, buddy, because I can do that. I used to be one hardcore Harley riding motorcycle rider, too. I'm a much calmer individual now. I've been able to vent that. I've done that through skydiving. I've done that through my children. And I've done that through base jumping. I truly come back a different person. I have enjoyed myself and I have been able to clear my mind of any outside pressures, unhappy thoughts. Don used to drink a lot and he quit drinking about nine years ago. Has been real strong through all of that, did that all on his own. There's definitely times when I can see that he needs to go and jump. I really think it's, it's like an addiction. And I know I can't stop him from doing it. Right. Give me the door. Stop. All right, have a good one, guys. All right, you bet. Okay, traffic behind us is good. Yeah. You don't want to leave the way. All right, can I see it? We jump mostly buildings under construction. You're not standing in someone's office. It's much easier to get in. I've had people standing on ready so that as soon as we land, we could hop in the van and be gone.
unfortunately, a good friend of mine died on a building. I jumped first. My friend jumped right after me. And when I turned around after landing, his canopy was facing the building. He struck the side of the building right at the corner. He didn't have a hard helmet on, and it killed him. I've had several dreams. Uh, I was able to land on my feet from a jump with no parachute over my head or anything. I just walked it right on in like it was no problem. I've seen things go flying by in my peripheral vision, you know, telephone poles screaming by and you're thinking, oh gosh, I'm getting low now, I better pull. And then all of a sudden you're standing on the ground with a big smile on your face. And you're so embarrassed that you've landed with no parachute open that you, you pull. You open your container because you're, you think, well, that's what I was supposed to do, so I better do it. When you skydive, you have the sound of the motor and the winds rushing in, and it's, it's all pretty loud. But when you make a base jump, it's quiet. Walk in the park. Four, three, two, one. See ya. That's the best, because that means nothing happened. That man went out, made a jump, had a great time, went home, had a cup of coffee, and said, yeah, I enjoyed that.